Hello everybody, Wild Tracker here, and welcome, welcome to another episode here, playing some Feed the Beast Revelation, yes. Back playing some more 1.12 modded Minecraft, this is our Let's Play series, so episode 2, thanks for joining us, and thanks for all the positive feedback and chat on the uh, on the original series, I'm glad you're all liking it, so uh, yeah, I'm having a ton of fun, haven't done much in between, because that's what I said, I wasn't going to do much, I've got myself a... Uh, helmet on now as you can see and I went and um, knocked out the rest of the blocks that are under in their thing so again if you know how if we can refill it, I don't think we can but you know if, if you know about that then let me know so we've got a little bit of ores we've got two diamonds in total from it so yeah not too bad not not too bad uh, let's just go and see if there is any skellies down here still because we've just slept through the night there is one here somewhere I can see you yeah and you there too. And you there too. Yeah. See, so you don't hurt me as much now, do you? <laughs> right, okay, so what I wanted to do was just put a ladder here, just so it's easy to get in and out. Uh, that's the thing. Something, um, well, we'll test later on how, th how this does. Uh, I want to do some testing with it, just to see how we get on. Uh, let's put that in there. I'm not sure if that's the right place for it. Mm, it'll do. Right, let's take those out of there. So, a uh, couple of things we need to do. Um, first of all, we need to actually one thing we need to make ourselves. I haven't got at the moment. In fact, uh, let's take another piece of iron and let's take a stick, solitary stick. I need more than one stick though. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Iron wood don't need spruce wood. Let's take a few of those. So what we need to do now is have a look at what we're going to do with regard to ores and doubling and all that kind of stuff. I have made this, which is a quartz grindstone. It was a little bit expensive for me because, um, yeah, I didn't. Ha I haven't been into the Nether yet. Um, so a quartz grindstone, you can either use Nether quartz, charge quartz, or just normal surface quartz. The only stuff I had was the charge stuff. So, yeah, when I made that, it, it, it kind of felt a bit expensive. The rest is no problem. It's just stone and cobblestone. And then this is wooden gear, which is easy enough to make with a stick and planks. So that was really easy to put together. And then there's a crank on top, which is literally three sticks across, two sticks down, or three by three. Uh, so five sticks. And that makes that. So all, all you have to do with this is get your ore. So let's get some, uh, what should we get? Uh, some gold. Right, let's let's make up one piece of gold. So you put the gold in there. It goes in. As soon as you start hitting that, it actually moves it into that area there. You keep that going until it stops. I'm not sure if these break. I know in some of the, the episodes it did break, but or some of the things. There you go. It stopped, and we have two pulverized gold out of that one ore, which means that we can then stick it in there. And that should make two pieces of gold. So we're all doubling. It's manual, but we're all doubling. So that that's that's the thing. Uh, I wanted to make very quickly a shovel. One thing we haven't got yet. There we go. Stick those back in there. And if we look in here now, we should have two pieces of gold. Yay! Or doubling, which is kind of basic. Um, I think what we do need to do, though, is... Because that, that's kind of okay for a few pieces, but it's very laborious. Uh, let's see, we've got some gravel. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to have to go and, and, and get ourselves a smeltery. For sure. Um, and smeltery is basically made from uh, seared bricks. Seared road? Okay. Um seared bricks which are these things here and that's done by grout i am grout i am grout i am grout which again is just sand and gravel and also clay but it can be clay balls as well as that which if we look at it clay is going to be four clay isn't it so yeah four make eight one makes there four four so yeah the rest the recipe is the same it, it doesn't really make any advantage which way around have it so I haven't got any clay so we need to go and get some but there's probably some in here in the lake and then we've got another lake back there so we'll probably do those but something else I want to do because um, obviously we'll have to get ourselves a proper portal as well into the nether that's something we need to do but if we look at portals we do have this in here the portal frame so this is um, the dimensional world world so we need a 
Did it have to be chiseled? It's all chisel, 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 chisel. We'll find out in a minute, because that all looks chiseled, but we'll find out. So we need one of these, first of all, a mining multi-tool. Um, so we've got some of it. Let's just get that back again. We haven't got one of those, so I had the materials there for that. We've then got that, so that's no problem. Um, probably need a stick, which I haven't got, and we need some stone bricks, which again we haven't got, but we've got some stone. I made some stone up earlier, so we've now got some stone bricks, so that should be enough to make the multi-tool. Boom, boom, boom. And then, can I do this with just stone bricks? Oh, I can. Will it do it with just stone? No. So it's got it's got to be stone bricks. Uh, and how many do we need? Ten of these, probably, don't we? Uh, that's going to be six. That's going to be ten. I'm guessing, or do we need to make it a proper portal? Let's make it a proper portal anyway. That's I, I think that's a, a thing anyway, isn't it? So if we get those and those, we should get those nice okay so where do we want this to go I mean that's going to be my main island eventually uh, so we can move this in reality um, because we, I want to put things underground and what have you so yeah that's, that's, that's going to be a thing uh, so let's just put it over here out of the way we'll put both portals in this sort of bowl area here shall we say so let's just do this I'm going to do it properly like I said so one two three four one, two, three. oh, actually, it's probably no. That's right. So I was just, I was just thinking it's going to be an odd shape, but it won't be. Um, so that's three. One, two, three. Boom. So that should take us into the mining world. Let's see to infinity and beyond. Let's go sneak in the portal. And we should get transferred. Now, I don't know if we're going to be up on the surface or not, because the surface of these worlds tend to be at around about 80-odd. Oh, we are. Ooh, okay. That's a bit different from the um, the one I'm used to. Uh, let's set a waypoint, shall we, while we're, while we're here. Um, let's see, is there any conflicts? No, there isn't. So, let's go portal. Save. Which is nice, because then we've got a load of these guys we can just kill if we want to. Why you, you should have died. This is this is the great thing about this world being so big and big and flat. Um, is we can just come up here and murder lots of animals without having to sort of worry about finding them. That was being a bit laggy. Where's it's the sun? Where's the sun? It's going down. Is it being laggy? No, it's been good, but it's getting dark. So we don't want it getting too dark too soon. Um Right, so that means, that's pretty good, we've got this mining world now that we can basically uh, tear apart, which is pretty good. That's just water, I think. Murky water. Horrible murky water. Um, and I don't think we can sleep in here, even a sleeping bag. I slept here in a bed once and it, it wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't good at all. Um, but I guess from this, we will want to sort of head... I guess this way away from spawn yeah so we kind of come out of here and we want to build ourselves a way down now we could we could just do a sort of uh, staircase down but I guess the reality of this one is we probably just want to do you know mine straight down I think uh, we haven't got any torches we've got some torches so let's let's do that a minute while we uh, while we can, we'll get some torches up here, at least, so we don't get anything spawning too much near our base. Look at all that. We probably ought to go back to the old world and sleep. I think that might be an idea, um, just so we don't get anything sort of coming back. Oh, it's, ni it's nice that it doesn't actually lag that much, um, that's for sure. Right, let's go and sleep, although I've got my sleeping bag, I just slept in that, but we might as well sleep in here. And we can get that uh, up and going. Uh, let's go back. Nice. And then, yeah, let's... Um, we've kind of got... I haven't really got ladders to get out of here again. We could make some, but I think we'll, we'll probably just, um, you know, 
use our slime boots to start with to get back up again. Uh, I think that's possibly a way to, to do it for now. That's what I did in the uh, the full craft world when I went down. I just made a couple of um, steps on the way back up. And that just allowed me to sort of go down and come back up again. Um, I guess we ought to switch caves on our mini map. but Because that looks like it's not showing caves, doesn't it? Let's have a look. J for mini map. Show caves. Is that going to switch? What have I done wrong? What have I done? I don't know. Um, I just want to be aware more if there's any lava blowers or anything like that. Because I'm presuming, like like before, this still, even though it's a flat world and generates, um, it's still got all the features of the overworld. So, um, ah, some more quartz. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's get our shovel down, not sleeping bag. Yeah, so you can still think, find things like spawners and um, mine shafts and ravines and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that's uh, just something to be aware of, I guess. And obviously lava lakes and caves, so, you know, and all the mobs, because you can see on there. Oops. So we've come down somewhere. And this is... A big room? It looks almost like you would get... That's not a case spider, is it? It is a case spider. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're not going there. <laughs> Man, how is that case spider? So, that was... That, that was... Cave layers. Uh, showcase. We are, we are shaped... So, Oh, vertical chunk. I don't know. Um, hmm. That could be interesting because look at that. There's there's case spiders. There's three or four there already. <sighs> right. Uh, let's just go this way a bit. But yeah, we're we're right over that. Um, I think. Uh, in fact, say what we'll do. We're going to go this way a little bit. Because we are literally over that. Uh, oh, what's that? Magnesium. Should we take some magnesium? Don't know what we need it for. Right. Can we still go down a little bit without going in? No, that wants to go in there. So let's cover that up. Causes a bit of a problem when there's some case spiders around. But that's probably going to be handy if, um, if we do come across... Um, it's going to entry into the cave this side though. Got a feeling it might. Um, it's going to be handy if we want to um, if we want to get a spawner or something like that because oh, look, there are so many there. That's that's got to be a spawner nearby, hasn't it? That's for sure. All I want to do is get down to Y level 12 without dying. I shouldn't have done that. But I did. Uh, let's stick a torch up here. You can hear them all. But yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to find out where that spawner is once we uh, once we do discover it, because that's that's pretty close. You know, that's that's got to be within 16 blocks for sure. Um. And that's that's pretty close. That's that's pretty close to where we were, and I can hear a lot of them, for sure. And uh, see, almost down. What are we? Y level twelve. So I'm probably going to go one more. Y level eleven. And then here we have, hopefully, a little starting area for a mine. So I'm going to get this out a little bit. What I like to do with mine shafts is basically have a room, you know, slightly bigger than everything else, so we can just uh, have have room for manoeuvre, so to speak. Let's put that there and that there, um, and then our first mine shaft is going to go off in this direction. And I think we're going to go three on these. So, and this is how I'm going to do my mining for now so because we don't have me creeps in this which is a bit of a shame I did have a look and I couldn't find it so um, 
yeah, that's 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 a thing, unfortunately. Uh, let's get some of this stuff in our bag. Nice. Okay. That's good. So that's all safely tucked away. Um, yeah, and we can we can just come down here and mine to our heart's content. Um, you know, when we want things like this, and we should hopefully get diamonds and that kind of stuff. So, and this is kind of be the stuff I'm not going to do. I know I said I'd do a lot of um, a lot of stuff on camera. This is the kind of stuff that I will be doing in between episodes uh, to make sure we get you know all the materials and, and that sort of thing. But I just wanted to show you this first of all, just so you guys can see what I do, so you get an idea. If you want to play along, then you can just you know hop on and and do something similar. Um, I usually like to have this on as well. And number four is the one I like to, to do. So number four, make sure I hit seven. I think if we go to three, oh, it does it does work. That's all right. We've learned something new then. If we do two, it also works. Nice, okay. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just handy to sort of go along here and doing all this and then whatever we need, um, we can sort of snag and do anyway, like redstone or whatever. Um, don't really know what we want lots of redstone for at the moment, but we will need we'll need things like diamonds and that. Um, and the other thing we've got to watch out for is some of these things are actually at a higher level as well. So we might need to do a minor eye level. Uh, but I guess at some point, once we get power and all the rest of it, we'll start looking at quarries. So, yeah. But you, you get the idea of it. So I think we'll probably um, stop, stop that there. Um, might as well put a torch down. Ooh, was that... Just what I need. Because <laughs> the next thing we're going to do is build our smeltery. That's for sure and for certain. Um, oh, actually, we could go and get some lava, couldn't we? Um, no, because we don't have a diamond pickaxe. So before we can do a portal into the nether, we need to get a diamond pickaxe. So that's going to be something we need to, we need to look at doing. Um, let's just bring up journey map again. So that's a fast moving spider. They're obviously at a higher level there than than, than that. Um, let's just see, Jay. So if we go this way, um, it's above there, but that's fine. We should come across lava. And hopefully, yes. Uh, I say hopefully, it's um, nice and easy to get to. But that will also mean We've got an area we can have a look for diamonds, just in case there happen to be some diamonds around the lava lakes. And it's it's not that they spawn closer to lava lakes, man. That 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 is so close up there, isn't it? You can hear those spiders. Yeah, it's not that that you know they spawn closer to lava lakes or anything like that. It's just the fact that they're like caves; they're exposed. So if you can expose, yeah, there's nothing. Oh, my computer's froze. Let's hope I'm still okay. Yeah. <laughs> so nothing, nothing in there, unfortunately. But it does mean that we've got um, we've got lava to come down and get here, uh, and we can go and get that now. I've got to see if I can get back up here now. So we're going to go like that, and we can. That's good. Let's go back up here. Good. And then we've got to go up there, but I don't think we will. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get a piece of cobblestone. And so if we go at this one first. Didn't get it. So what I'm going to try and do is place... Ah. Uh, <laughs> place cobblestone where, where I want to land. And I can't because that torch is there now. Uh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to do it. I'm definitely going to do it. You guys are going to see me do it. So let's get rid of that torch first of all. No. Nope. Going to have to do it on this side then. Losing my health. Losing my health slowly. But that's fine. Um, so up again. Boom. I still did do it. Not quite sure why I'm not doing it. We'll give it one more go. Oops. Give it one more go and actually do it this time. There we go. So that's okay, uh, and that's that's a good place to put it. So what what it should mean? Let's just see, eat eat a little bit here. 
if I show you this, uh, if we go down, which means we can easily jump down. But what we should be able to do is go up like this. <sighs> do you know when you try and do things on camera? Up like this and the side. There we go. And then we should be able to get up to the top now, hopefully. Yes. Excellent. And it's night time again. Okay, so there's our little mining setup. That's that's that done. That's one job out of the way for today. It means I can go down there and get mine or, or mine for stuff. But we need to or double everything we get. So we need to start building um, our portal. Uh, not our portal. We need to start building our smeltery. Which is really simple to do. And start getting into tinkers as well. Because that's the other thing is if we can start, start building ourselves some tinkers tools, we should be able to uh, have some fun. Do I hear, hear some things dying in here? You guys dying in here again? We need to test this as well. Next night, remind me not to sleep. Which is a bit daft, really, because... You know, you, you can't remind me I'm not live-streaming. <laughs> uh, I can't even pick that stuff up. Yeah, I want to do that test on there, so... We will do that before the end of the episode. So let's just put some of this stuff away. We certainly don't need all this cobble and stuff and things. So we'll get rid of the ores and other bits and pieces. So we have some of that. Um, let's see, do we have, let's get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Nice, let's get rid of some mob drops, which is those and those. Yeah. And get rid of those seeds as well. And food, because we don't need those. Get rid of the coal. But uh, right, we had some gravel. We have some sand. So how much of this can we make? I am grout. Well, let's have a look. Uh, and the trouble is the grout, that's one per everything. So 64 plus four, not a huge amount. But that's okay. We, we can make some more if I get some more sand and gravel. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and get some more sand and gravel. Um, hoik all that up. Uh, put that back in there. Because that's what we built our shovel for. So let's go over this lake first of all over here. Because A, it's slightly bigger. And I don't mind destroying this lake. Because it's it's even though it's local to me. Man, these things are so attracted to the water. I don't know what it is, but yeah, they, they are. Let's um get the thing off. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a load of I mean we've got sand and clay here, which is awesome. I'm gonna get a lot of that, get it all together, get all my smeltery bricks smelted up, and then we'll uh, we'll come back and get this smeltery going. Okay, so that's smelting up nicely and there's a few things we're going to need and we're probably going to have to look the rest up in a minute so we want uh how many of these um do we need one two i'm gonna say four we're gonna go with four for now this is just how i set my smeltery up you guys can set yours up however you like um but yeah if we look at so it's a tinker's construct as the mod let's bring all the options up because I can never remember without looking uh, at the, you know, what what we actually need. And because there's a lot in this mod. So th here's all the stuff. So uh, let's make it simple. So we need a controller. So for which we're going to need a furnace. Okay, seared furnace controller. Is that right? Uh, we certainly need a drain. So we need one of those. In fact, no, we need two drains. Yeah, smeltery drain. So we're going to make two smeltery drains. And let's see, we're going to need one of these tables. In fact, we need probably two again. Um, just because I like to maximize the corners. And then we need two of the um, casting basins. So let's make one two casting basins pretty awesome okay um, what else do we need so I guess that's the controller isn't it that is the only seared furnace controller seared glass 
I don't recall it having that in there before, but um, yeah. Um, so what do No crafting table. No. So uh, we do need a seared tank, which is going to need glass. So let's smelt up some sand while we're at it. Get ourselves a piece of glass. Um, and really, we should be making some, you know, sort of one of these, um, I guess, the sort of, uh, the, the windows are probably easy enough to, to look into, isn't it? Seared glass is going to be one glass and four. Where's the other option? There's always two options. Uh, seared tank, smeltery control. Ah, there's the smeltery control. Okay. That's that's what we need. Um, so let's get that. I had a feeling it wasn't with a, a furnace. I think that is for a furnace. Uh, you can make a furnace out of one of these things. Um, and then we wanted one, two, three, four. Would make the glass. But we don't want that just yet because we want... Where did that? So, yeah, because that's that's a lot of glass, which makes it clear we don't need that. Uh, let's see, we needed the tank, furnace controller, basin, crushing table. Where's the tank? Where's the tank? Window, gauge, seared tank. So we need a seared tank because that's going to hold our lava, and I am going to make one window, just because I like to see inside. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> I want at least one the one window to be able to see inside. So let's let's make up a few bricks now, which I think are like that. And we're probably gonna need more. So that's that's the thing. We we're gonna go through a lot of bricks in terms of um the rest of it. And let's see, where do we want to set this up? Again, it's only gonna be a temporary location, so I guess somewhere here is gonna be absolutely fine. Um let's build it slightly on here. So if we want just try and play this out. And we're going to do the smallest one possible for now. Okay, so if we're going to have that one there, we would have that one there. And then casting basin will go there, and we'll have another one there. Okay, so that's, that's how they're going to go. Um, so yeah, we need to get these. In fact, it's not those, it's more these that have got to be done. Let's get these out. Why am I doing that when I made myself a shovel a minute ago? Guys, why am I doing that when I... <laughs> it's crazy. I know, it's crazy. Um, and we don't actually need... So I've probably made this too small. Let's see. So if we have a smeltery drain there... Um, no, that, that's correct. Smeltery drain there. That's fine. Then we have the controller... Where's the controller? There's smeltery controller. There. Okay, so that's where that's going to go. Um, and then this is going to be a 3x3 three three hole. That's fine. And let's get the seared bricks. So we're going to use nine up straight away in here. And this is definitely going to need some more. Um, we then need to make sure we've got this here. So we can also see it from this side, which is uh, pretty good. Um, and then we might as well put the window on this side. So should we want to have a look in, we can. And then the rest of it really needs to be these seared bricks. And the minimum you need... Are we going to have enough? Uh, are we, are we going to have precisely enough? Let's see. Because you don't need the corners in place. Uh, let's see there. Does that give us a smeltery? Yes, it does. <laughs> it's only it's only holds nine items, but it's a smeltery nonetheless. That's that's absolutely awesome. Um, now, do we have anywhere on this map lava? And it's already night time. Uh, let's just eat. Let's have a look. Do we have some lava close to us, um, or are we better off going into the mining world? Yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll go into mining world a second and get some lava. And then we just put the lava into there. So that gives us working smeltery. So in theory, we're going to use some gold first of all, because we need to smelt up, um, or we need to get going, some plates. So let's put nine gold into there. 
Now, although this will smelt nine at a time, it will actually hold 72 ingots. So the nice thing is that once you get this going, so you can put a hopper on there, for example. If you put a hopper onto this, then it will be continually filling it, going into there. So, um, and we can put a tank onto this with lots of lava in it. And yeah, so uh, there's, there's ways of automating it and we'll, we'll make this bigger when we do it. Um, so what we need to do is use one of these seared bricks in this casting table uh, and the one thing we forgot to put on was these faucets so we put one there and one there because the nice thing is they work on both sides if you never used this before um, and it gives you options then of doing that and we're going to make a cast that's the first thing we need to make is actually a cast so if we do that that will make a cast the brick will disappear and we'll lose it that's why we're using those bricks but now if we pour anything into it we we get our stuff which is awesome so we can actually we put in nine and we used quite a bit but we've got six and one block that's nine yeah so we had 18 we just click on there and we've got it and again these can be automated we can use hoppers and things like that to pull out automatically but that's awesome we've got our first lot of our tinkers set up and it means we can uh, pull those out and the other side because we've got what one ingot one block six ingots so while we do that we can also do this side we can completely fill this and we get a block out so nice simple way to double all earlier on fairly automatic without this that's just really a get you started once you uh, once you get going so um, that's pretty awesome we can smelt up the rest of that we'll smelt up some iron uh, probably get some copper going as well Have we only got the one piece of lead so far we'll have to get some more uh, we've got two different types of copper, but they'll all smelt into the same type eventually. Um, can we make ourselves a couple of hoppers? Might as well just automate this uh, while we can. Um, although we can't... Yeah, we need to build a redstone clock really, don't we? Let's just see. Can we do that at the moment? Can we build the clock? We've got some redstone, so... Um, there it is there. So missing everything <laughs> of course it's missing everything why would I have anything in my inventory uh, let's get some redstone let's make a redstone torch because it needed one of those and we're gonna make a couple of these then let's see if we can make it now so can we make it now we can we can make two of those fantastic um, we need some levers levers whichever way you want to do it um, we then need some wood because we're going to make some hoppers let's get our ore going just so I can you know literally not worry about doing this and the other great thing as well if you want to make a chest just make it with logs and it makes four straight away which is pretty awesome I think I think vanilla could benefit from that straight away that saving uh, let's make two hoppers two hoppers no three at, at, at least three we need three hoppers that that's me doing maths three hoppers we want two levers boom let's automate this now the question is can we put in from the top I know you can put in from the front let's see if I put this in there does it automatically go in it looks like it is yes nice so we can fill that with whatever we want those shouldn't mix together you got to be careful what metals you put in here because they will um, you know effectively um, mixed together so you, you do have to be careful of that uh, where's that other chest stick that chest in the middle and then what we should be able to do is use the hoppers each side and I don't think it will pull that's good yes so it's not going to pull the plate out of it and the nice thing about these is we can get underneath with them so now in the chest we've got all our stuff so all we need to do now is stick the clocks on uh, won't stick the clock on there for now and just because well you, yeah you, you don't really want to be doing that so we're gonna stick the clock on there gonna stick the lever on in fact it's doing it already so that, that's fine so it's just there so we can turn that clock off if we want to if we want it to, to stop doing we can um, and then we can do exactly the same on here um, I guess it would pull out on that side as well if we made a cast we could be doubling it up 
And I'm not going to stick one on it in a moment because we don't really have enough ores to be doing that. So let's just turn it off. Do we have how much? Seven ingots. Let's make another cast. Put that in there. And then we can put this one on this side. Because that'll be a thing then, won't it? Yeah, that'll be a thing. That's, there you go. That's, that's how we'll run those. They'll be running, hopefully, yeah, different. I guess that's got to pull into a chest though, isn't it? DJ's joined the game. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Um, so we could get another hopper going into a hopper into there if we want to. Um, so we'll just turn that off for now. We'll have the one running and that's just going to automatically stick all our ores into that chest, which is awesome. Look at it all in there. So we've got all what, all the, the stuff there. And if we want to come along, we've got, we know we've got three blocks of iron. We could just simply, you know, do one at a time there like that. Uh, it just gives us a bit of control. And I don't like that there. So I'm going to stick that there. Doesn't look that great, does it? Um, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be wasteful and stick one of these here. Now the other thing we could do with this as well, and we're going really long in this episode now, is we can obviously make more of these seared bricks. Um, and we can make this bigger. Have we got any more in there? We've got five there. No. So we'd have to make some more up. Um, but what you can do is actually... Um, in fact, can we do one more? One more will be really good because that's one, two, three. Whoops! Don't don't land in there. That's not solid block. I've now got blood in there. Okay. Um, so we can make this bigger. Stick that on the front. Um, yeah, but uh, pro probably not just yet. So uh, maybe we'll make it wider before we make it bigger. Just because I don't want that hopper on the front. I think it'll look better elsewhere but yeah we're now going to have a bit of blood in there we do 20 million bits of blood that's okay we can get rid of that later um i have gone way on way 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 on than i normally want to but um certainly i've got some things done today we've got our um ore doubling done and we've got our mining world done as well so we are good to go with getting lots of resources which i'll do in between episodes because as i say there's no point doing that on video um, we've got our food growing behind us. We can harvest all that. Um, and one final thing I was just going to test before we go. Let's let's use these if we can. Probably not. Hope you guys don't mind it going a bit long in episode. Uh, if you do, let me know, and we we won't do this next time. Um, if you don't care, then don't say anything, or just say I don't care. But what I'm interested to find out is if we cover this up. Does it automatically start spawning them? In other words, can we make this a dark room? Now, there's one guy down there at the moment who we probably ought to kill. Just because, you know. And he's a fresh guy. Okay. So, let's do the rest now. I'm just interested to see. Would this, um, would this spawn things other than normal sort of spawning? If there was a no light in there at all. So let's get rid of that. Because at the moment I put these torches down as well. So light levels in here are getting low. I bet it's going to be night time as well, isn't it? So let's let's sleep as well because we don't want that interfering with it. <sighs> it's all, all go, isn't it? They're going to start spawning anyway. Come on. Sleep, 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 sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. <laughs> it's a good job we don't spam the spam the chat anymore with that, is there? So, um, ah, uh, come on, sleep, sleep, sleep. Right. Hopefully, nothing spawned. Some things did spawn. There's a lot of things in here. Right. You die, die, die. That's it. All shoot each other. The little guys you've got to watch out for. These guys. Right, did we get everybody? Right, so we've got everybody. Now, it's daylight. Let's see what happens when we completely cover this up. Both sides. Does it actually spawn anything? Or is the spawner more to do with the daylight cycles and night cycles? In other words, it only spawns actually at night. Because I think the light levels in there will now will be quite sufficiently low. 
especially if we do that and that and do this one here yeah and there's nothing spawning is there so uh, what are the mechanics down here there's some ones and zeros over there so yeah that's that's definitely not spawning anything at all okay so an interesting mechanic then it's it's got nothing to do with light levels or anything like that it's all to do with sort of the the game mechanics and night or day or whatever which is quite interesting I think that's a, an interesting you know because it's not like your traditional spawner it just means we've got a spawner only spawn stuff at night so to speak so yeah if you know anything more about those let me know down in the comments um, because I've not come across them before they're new to me and uh, yeah we'll see you here next time playing some uh, Feed the Beast Revelation thanks for watching see you soon bye bye Thank <laughs> you.